What's going on, everybody? Show today at Louisville up at the uh, Derby City Card Show. Really, really good. Um, got up at right around 7 a.m., started setting up, and people were already going through at like 7.30 in the morning. Until uh, I got home, ate some dinner, and got everything unloaded. Uh, I wanted to get the uh, video done so a lot of stuff could stay fresh into my mind. I tried using the GoPro from like how everybody is the dealer point of view type deal. And it was just hard to always remember to keep turning stuff on with people coming by. I'm going to have to find a, a different way or a better approach, I guess you could say, into doing that. But I did get a chance to walk around towards the end. Um, again, I don't ever want to bore anybody with the same stuff that's at every single table because retail mania and stuff like that. So... There, there was a lot of different things on there. There is one piece to where I finally got one down to my buddy's table. Uh, I think he changed his business name to like Elizabeth Sports Cards. And I, I took a good chunk of his stuff. And you'll see that in the video. It's going to be like display cases. But it's going to, when you see how I normally have the camera angle, it's like, I'm trying to kind of say that they sit like upright. Um, really nice. I mean, he spent some money on getting that done, but yeah, I picked a few things up. I'll go over those soon as this piece of the card show is done. See you guys in a few.
All right. Um, from a dealer point, I just wanted to start off real quick. I sold a lot of cards today. Um, whether I mean my whole dollar box went, but like slab wise to um, you know, just regular cards and stuff. I just I moved a lot today. Even if I did one trade. Well, two like kind of a trade in the cash too. I guess you could say kind of two trades. But a lot of stuff went, um, you know, it's stuff that I've had for a while. And I just figured, hey, let's move and get some fresh inventory in. So let me show you some of the stuff I picked up today. Start off with this. Um, picked up this Willie Mays. And I got to get into a different case and stuff. But it's the, uh, I think this is the 59 when it came out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 59 times it's 58 All-Star Selection. Willie Mays, um, I did not pay what's in the top right-hand corner for this by no means at all. Um, got it for a really good deal. Something I'll send out to be graded eventually down the road. Let's see here. Wanted to... Get this dude into a different case here real quick show you some other cool stuff the next one was part of like a cash slash trade deal so i picked this mahomes prestige heroes up i kind of like this plus i know there's a lot of guys that like mahomes i'm not gonna probably grade this at all but i'll probably have it the next uh time i go live with some cards to sell all right next one was a trade um, I traded the Kevin Porter Jr. Optic, um, Contenders Optic PSA 10 Auto. I picked up this Dominic Wilkins. You guys probably seen this on uh, Instagram if you follow me on Instagram already. Out of 10, look at the patch on that. Disgusting. I mean, this I'm going to send off to be graded whether it comes back 8 or a 9. Maybe even some slim hope of a 10. Very, very slim. Uh, I'm still going to get it graded. I think Dominic Wilkins, he was a great player. And, you know, stuff like this here is what I've been looking mostly to start to try to start picking up again. This I'm kind of undecided on. And I, if I do, i got to pop it out of this because, like, somebody has, like, scuffs all over this. But I picked up a Cole Anthony Crown Royal. Let me get this focus back. And there it is. Out of 199 the uh, silhouette. Again, this here is all on the case. I'm going to see if I can clean it up. If not, I don't know. I might grade this. Uh, there is whiting up here and add on to it. I'm just not too sure. I may just post this in one of the RAS rooms, too, and just uh, move on with it as well. Finally, I picked this up. This is going to be graded. There's very few people out there that I know that really don't grade cards. And I always enjoy looking through his stuff. And I'm probably going to have to pick some more up next time I see him at a show. But Ken Griffey Jr., this is the 2014 Tier 1 Acetates out of 25. Now, I was like, dude, what's wrong with this card? He goes, that's a smoke. It's on there. I really didn't know. I had I looked at it. I'm like, oh, okay. Because I thought it was something funky, like was stuck onto it. It's really not. And what was cool about this, check this out. This card actually has, oh, there we go, rounded corners at the bottom. So, I mean, once I pretty much wipe her down and the acetate wise that, I'm going to give it a shot, see if I can get a nine onto it. Heck, who knows? I mean, even rounded corners onto it. I mean, it's got a chance it could 10 for me. But you guys probably seen this on Instagram today. It was the one thing I was really happy with at the card show today. Um, pick it up. So overall, not too bad of a show. Um, like I said, I was really busy. I was going to say extremely busy, but then I figured that was kind of a redundant pun in a way. Um, lots of people coming through and a lot of cards move so i'm going to start redoing the inventory up plus i got psa stuff starting to pop and come in too but i'm going to start looking at moving like more into like i said like uh, last year going into this year just those autographs and stuff like that 
mean, Griffey, Pujols, whatever it may be out there, Jeters, um, across the board. Just a little bit of something different um, value-wise, you know, as the market either fluctuates or goes decreases on a lot of stuff. Uh, some stuff may rise on performance and that still, but yeah, I mean, overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one, and I will catch you all next video.